Welcome to Globe 10.0. I'm joined by Globe columnist Dan Shaughnessy. I'm Steve Silva. We're going to talk Bruins. A couple of impressive wins by the Bruins, putting some goals together. Are the Bruins back to that early season potential, Dan, that we saw since the trading deadline especially? I felt better about them in the really early season mm -hmm. when you're thinking, oh, it's the same team as two years ago, and you know now they're well-rested. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I think the things that have happened, not quite as good. I've, I've liked the, the big goal scoring in the last two games early. You know, pile it up early. But I still, you know, these concussions, Marshawn last night, you know, Bergeron going back, the goaltending, eh, a little shaky compared mm -hmm. to Tim Thomas two years ago. I don't like him as much as I liked him at the beginning of this year or certainly two years ago. And I'm going to add the defense turning over the puck in their own zone a lot, not really able to get the break going on that side. Uh, you know, on the plus side, Yager, I think, has been a terrific addition to the team, veteran presence. The guy can still clearly play at 41. Uh, Kudobin was putting some heat on Rask early on, but he, he looked sloppy last night, so I don't know about that. And, yeah, I'm looking for more, you know, out of Sagan and out of Horton and Luchik. Those guys still haven't come through. Well, I think Krejci is because really kind of disappeared a little bit. It hasn't done, you know, Claude doesn't like to change these lines around, as we know. He stays with the same guys, and Krejci stays, you know, keeps his shift, keeps his position that. I'm wondering about that. The Yager influence. I love bringing Yager in, no matter what. To me, that's that's still a good thing. But I think that you know some of the the leadership and the veteran guys got to step it up a little bit here. Yeah, and Gregory Campbell's looked uh, good the last couple of games, get, getting uh, points on that line. Uh, but we'll see. The big news is going to be about Marshawn, and uh, uh, you know, there's a hearing today. There's going to be a suspension involved with him. But if he's out of the Bruins lineup for any significant time with Bergeron, the Bruins are still in trouble.